Hello guys and welcome to all those training to become Super Saiyans. This is Revolution. So on this video, what we're going to be discussing is Whis's power. Now you're probably thinking to yourself, other than training with Goku and Vegeta, we have seen very little of Whis in action in terms of fighting an opponent. However, there have been many statements throughout the entirety of Dragon Ball Super in which we can measure the angel attendant Whis's power by in accordance to others, as well as a catalogue of impressive accomplishments that show that Whis is capable of some pretty crazy wacky things. Now, we all know that the angels are the tier above Hakaishin, the gods of destruction, but how much power exactly do they have? We know that they aren't quite at the Grand Priest tier and I did a video on how powerful the Grand Priest was a couple of weeks ago. I'll link that at the end of the video at the end screen. Once you finish this video, if you haven't seen that video, go check it out. Some of the things that the Grand Priest have demonstrated are mind boggling. He is a sixth dimensional being at the very least. But in this video, despite not being quite at the Grand Priest level, I'm going to tell you why Whis is even stronger than even you thought. But just before we get into this discussion on Whis, I'm going to ask any new comers to this channel to please subscribe as well as anybody that's returned and still hasn't subscribed yet. Getting a lot of positive feedback, a lot of people saying that I deserve more subscribers. I really appreciate that. If you feel my content deserves to be seen by a wider audience, please make sure you like and comment on the video. And if you haven't done so yet and you enjoy my videos, please, please do subscribe. So in the Battle of God Saga, we saw Goku propel himself to a completely new plane of power when he attained Super Saiyan God from the ritual to face off against Beerus, the God of Destruction of Universe 7. We witnessed a colossal battle between Beerus and Goku, but we ended up learning that despite increasing his power from Super Saiyan 3 from the Buu Saga by billions to quintillions of times. If you don't believe me, Goku was a galaxy buster at best in the Buu Saga at Super Saiyan 3. And then we see him one bad move away from destroying the entire Universe 7 macrocosm, a structure three times the size of our very own universe. Since then, not only has Goku absorbed that Super Saiyan God power into his Super Saiyan form, then to his base, he can then still stack all the three Super Saiyan transformations on top, still go Super Saiyan God on top of that, and then still go to Super Saiyan Blue, which is Super Saiyan God turning Super Saiyan, another 50 times multiplier, and then even stack Kaioken times 20 on top, and he still isn't at Beerus's full power. Whether Ultra Instinct Goku can match Beerus at full power remains to be seen. But why am I talking about Goku and Beerus? Well, this basically proves how suppressed Beerus was against Super Saiyan God Goku in the Battle of God Saga, but even a Beerus at full power is no match for Whis. When asked if he'd mastered Ultra Instinct, Whis replies, of course, to Goku and Vegeta, just after telling them that Beerus struggles to master it. But it is inherently clear that Whis is planes of power above even Beerus at full power. In the same regard how Beerus was leagues upon leagues stronger than the Buu Saga characters. Sure, to a lot of us, that doesn't really come as a surprise. It's been very well suggested throughout the entire series, but there's a lot more to Whis than meets the eye. Whis is 24-7 Ultra Instincts. In every training sequence we've ever seen, we've not seen a single blow landed against him, except for one, but it was kind of a sneak attack. We'll get more into that later. Whis has confirmed he has mastered Ultra Instinct and has even got to the level where he can teach it. He even tells Goku and Vegeta the ins and outs of such abilities. He doesn't just tell them exactly what it is. It goes into very in-depth details about what it consists of. Like I said, in the training sequences with Goku and Vegeta, they haven't landed a single hit, even in Super Saiyan Blue. It appears whilst they're trying to attack Whis, he's literally dodging pretty casually, as well as hitting them pretty casually. This would suggest that he has both aspects of Ultra Instinct down, that is the defensive side, which Goku has displayed in the Tournament of Power, and the attacking side, which Goku has not displayed in the Tournament of Power. Whis is in a constant state of Ultra Instinct. He has mastered it to some degree. Obviously, when you get to Ultra Instinct and you've got to that stage where you've got it down, obviously, if you're competing against somebody else with Ultra Instinct, I'm sure can be at a certain level of advancement of mastered Ultra Instinct. As we know, Whis can't even land a hit on the Grand Priest. That suggests the Grand Priest 
is even more of a master of Ultra Instinct than Whis. Goku did land a sneak attack on him in training before the tournament to power in Bulma's gravity chamber after being toyed with by Whis, but Goku then bites Whis on the hand. It was an unsavoury sneak attack, but Whis didn't manage to dodge it. Now, I'm sure you all remember in Resurrection of F when two god tier characters in Goku and Vegeta were attacking Whis two against one. Whis was so composed during that fight, he even managed to pull out a pen and write his signature, Goku and Vegeta's clothing. That is just alpha. If ever there was a highlight reel of showboating from the Dragon Ball Super series, that would be one of the moments on it. However, despite being an incredibly powerful being himself, who seems to be in a constant state of ultra instinct, Whis seems to get a lot of power from his staff. Now, there still remains a few mysteries about this staff, whether Whis pours his own power into the staff to allow him to accomplish things, or whether the power in the staff has been granted from the Grand Priest. Even if it was granted by the Grand Priest, Whis does not need to ask consent from the Grand Priest or need the Grand Priest there in order to use it. It's undeniably his very own staff, he has it on him at all times. In that regard, Whis's staff is similar to that of Thanos' from Marvel's Infinity Gauntlet. Like I said, he's shown a wealth of impressive accomplishments with this staff, Let's start. So we've seen him manipulate matter when training Goku and Vegeta in episode 16. Remember the sequence where he gave Vegeta and Goku weights to literally run around Beerus' planet with? He didn't just create these weights, he actually increased what Vegeta was carrying, increasing the weight and the gravitational pull on the weights Vegeta had to lift. Then started to demolecularize the physical ground beneath them, forcing them to run at a faster pace. When he realized it was too fast, he slowed this demolecularization of the ground and remolecularized the matter of the ground that had previously been demolecularized. In the God of Destruction tournament, upon complaints about the seat in Vados had created, we did the same thing by getting rid of the old old seating and replacing it with new seating all in a matter of moments. This proves that Whis has control and manipulates spatial objects. He can manipulate physics to a certain degree. His staff also gives him, so grants him access to any information he requires. He can even look through the history of a certain race or a being, as he did when he watched Goku's fight with Frieza on Namek, granting him nigh omniscient sight if he requests it. We even saw in the Tournament of Power when he sought out the space-time continuum of Universe 9 after it had been erased, only to find that it was completely gone, suggesting the staff can present information from all across the multiverse should Whis request it. He can even create pocket dimensions with his staff. I'm sure you all remember when he threw Goku and Vegeta into that dimension that contained God Key. Boom was comparable to the Room of Spirit and Time, but contained even denser key, making it hard for even God tier characters like Goku and Vegeta to even move there. And after returning from defeating Zamasu, Whis told Goku and Vegeta upon the prospect of another Zamasu in another timeline that he had a place, a dimension, that was even better than the Mafuba dimension that would be able to contain even Astral Zamasu. Facial manipulation isn't all Whis is about. In Resurrection of F, when Frieza blew up the Earth, he's put up a barrier protecting the Z-Warriors, including god-tier characters like Goku and Beerus, inducing oxygen and gravity within his own key barrier. He reveals that he can, in fact, reverse time by up to three minutes, in which he duly does, saving the Earth from Frieza's destruction. He can even reverse actions of the gods, as when Beerus destroyed the sun, he reversed time. He can also time travel, as we saw in Resurrection of F, when he suggested creating a new timeline for Trunks to go and live in, he himself went to visit Beerus of that timeline so he could ask Beerus of that timeline to deal with Zamasu before he rebelled. And he sped up the biological process of Bulla's birth, proving that Whis is capable of manipulating time as well as time travel. Manipulating time and space are fifth dimensional feats. He was also able to withhold the enormous power of Super Shenron upon his awakening for Beerus's wish, shielding not just the Z-Warriors, but even Beerus himself again from Super Shenron's enormous power, a character stated to be able to grant any wish, possibly even the power to erase Zeno himself, I've got a video coming on that next week. He's also stupendously massively faster than light, crossing a good majority of the macrocosm within a matter of minutes. Whis is a stupendously massively faster than light, 24-7 ultra instinct 
fifth dimensional being with night omniscient sight within the multiverse. However, he does have two major weaknesses, good food and of course poo. This is why Whis is far stronger than you thought in Dragon Ball Super. Anyway guys, let me know your thoughts in the comment section. Would you like to see Whis in a serious fight someday? And do you believe Goku and Vegeta can eventually get to Angel tier level sometime in Dragon Ball Super's future? Don't forget to hit that like button. Like I said, it helps me out massively. Smash it with the biggest Kamehameha you can muster. Do not forget to subscribe and remember one very important final message. If you stay calm in any vexing situation, you're never, eh, 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 ever becoming a Super Saiyan. If you love talking about Dragon Ball on a daily basis, I promise you this channel is for you. Make sure you subscribe to my channel to get all the latest content as soon as it's released.